Hi, and welcome to a new South Texas Pride q and I'm Ivan Herrera, and today I'm joined by Ada Vox, a San Antonio native and one of 14 international drag performers competing for a $250,000 prize on the Paramount Plus singing competition, Queen of the Universe, which airs on December 2nd. Ada, thank you for joining me today. Of course, Ivan, thank you so much for having me, darling. I'm so excited to be here chatting with you, my love. <laughs> thank you so much. So we know that you were not a stranger to singing competition. What's different this time around? And can you tell me a little bit about your experience with Queen of the Universe? Sure, you know, as you mentioned, I've done this all before, but I've never done it in a way that feels like it's truly made to appreciate people like me. So I feel so good. As soon as I heard about this, I said, mama's got to jump on that. And I guess it worked out one way or another. And um, I feel good, baby. That's about all there is to it. <laughs> I'm happy to hear it. I'm happy to hear it. So this is one of the biggest international stages for singing drag queens. What does that mean for someone like you from San Antonio? Coming from San Antonio as a singer who has a drag persona, it's a little limiting because it's hard to fit into one box or the other that they want you to fit in to be a certain type of entertainer. And I say, no, that's not what I do. That's not who I am where can I express myself and really show my skills and my talent as a package? And when this came along, uh, I said, this is my chance to take my box and not just leave it there. I get to open my box and spread it to the world. And I'm so excited that this platform came along for people just like me. <laughs> I'm really excited to hear it and you sound really excited talking about it. So even more so, I'm excited to see this show. So I'm also really excited about the costumes and I know that they're a big part of performances and drags. What can people expect to see in terms of this competition, your fashion, what you're gonna be bringing to the stage? I came to this competition knowing that my aesthetic isn't particularly outlandish. It's not crazy, you know. I am beautiful. I like to be curvaceous and the plus size diva. And that's just who I am. And I just, no matter what, I'm gonna bring you beauty, I'm gonna bring you grace, and I'm gonna bring you lots of face. <laughs> And I think you're going to bring a lot of really cool, uh, whatever they do, like the confessionals and stuff, because you are so funny. Just talking to you right now, I'm like, you're hilarious. So tell me a little bit about what inspires your drag and your singing performances overall. I have been singing professionally for over a decade now. I've been going for 15 years. And one of the things that inspired me to really pick it up and pursue it and it became my passion were the powerhouses who always had something to say through their music and when it comes to the divas who inspired me it's the the Aretha Franklin who was always telling a story the Etta James who when she was on stage wasn't afraid to just let it rip in every single way and of course it boils all the way down to the people in my family who helped me to grow up around people who loved and appreciated music. So, you know, thank you to grandma, thank you to mama, thank you to everyone who helped me grow the appreciation and knowledge of that. And for drag, I always just said, when I do this, I'm gonna be pretty, I'm gonna be beautiful. So I started off really admiring the girls in the pageant community. And that's just all come together and made me. <laughs> So what's something that you hope that this competition will show other queer people here in Texas? More than anything, I want this competition to show that I am as good as I say that I am. And everybody's going to know, not just in Texas, but across the universe, honey. <laughs> and I really hope to not just make my name more prominent in the community, but to make my own space. I don't wanna just be a part of the community. I wanna create an entirely new space alongside the community to inspire others and to give others a space that do what I do to be celebrated. So after this show airs, you're gonna get huge. I can already see it. So where do you see your career going after this show? 
after this show, my main focus is going to be my music. One thing that I've always wanted to do, and I feel like this is the right step into making my real passion and dreams come true, is I want to travel the world. I want to travel the world selling out arenas and, you know, performing everywhere in front of thousands and thousands and thousands of people um, who will sing my lyrics back to me because they've heard my songs on the radio that have impacted them in some way, you know? So this is the very first major step into my superstar dreams. <laughs> I'm excited to hear it. And thank you so much for sharing that with me. Queen of the Universe is going to be airing on December 2nd on Paramount Plus. Where can people find you to follow your progress online? I like to make myself nice and easy to find on the social media, baby. So you can follow me everywhere at Ada Vox. You can see that little blue check mark. You know it's me. Get me on uh, TikTok, uh, Twitter, Facebook.com slash Ada Vox Official. You can check my website for all of that information. If you have a hard time and want to find it all in one place, it's AdaVoxOfficial.com. And you can find all the necessary information there to follow your girl, Miss Vox. Ada, thank you so much for joining me for this South Texas Pride Q&A. Of course. Thank you so much for having me, Ivan. It's been my pleasure. Thank you. <laughs>